the next speaker is a very inspiring leader. I'm personally very inspired by her, uh, Jo Pennycook. Jo is a founder and an owner of uh, Redesign Group, a global design uh, and branding company that works in the airport, retail, uh, and commercial space. Redesign is one of the very successful Kiwi uh, companies with major uh, Indian operation. Uh, within a decade, Jo has transformed from being a single operator design consultant to a globe uh, trottering um, head of company with offices in Delhi, Ho Chi Minh City, Saudi Arabia, and soon to be in the USA. The group has worked on many Indian airports, including Delhi Terminal 1, T Terminal 3, Bangalore, Chandigarh, Mumbai, Hyderabad, and more coming, I'm sure that. Today, Joe will be speaking on a journey of building a team in India being global, uh, meaning global and local. So ladies and gentlemen, with a warm welcome, please uh, welcome Joe Pennycook. Thank you, Jay, for that kind introduction. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you've all enjoyed your wonderful lunch. Um, thank you to the team at um, Indian Business Council for organising such a great summit for today and to see such a good turnout today. So, um, I do have a um, PowerPoint. Oh, okay. Can I go back? No, I'll stop. Okay, I'm going back right. Okay, apologies. Um, so today um, I'm going to talk to you about um, our company, Redesign Group. Um, as explained, um, we're a multidisciplinary um, design and branding company um, that um, has started from Christchurch as the sole operator, and now we, we employ um, now 19 staff and, and further growing. We're located, as mentioned, in, in Christchurch, um, in Delhi, in India, um, Saudi Arabia for Middle East and in Vietnam. And um, over the next coming months, we are venturing into the States with um, East and West Coast. Oh, okay, cheers. Okay, um, so as mentioned, we have 19 team, um, uh, team members. Um, we've worked in over 31 countries around the globe and delivered over 3,600 um, uh, projects across around the globe. This is our team. Um, as you can see, we're, we're scattered um, mainly um, in India, which is um, with 11 staff predominantly um, like located in Delhi. Um, we do position other staff um, according to our projects and depending on where, what we have to, to facilitate our work. The main core work has actually been an airport facility work. Um, and um, back in 2007, I received a phone call from one of my key clients from Australasia and said, Joe, how soon can you get to Hyderabad? I didn't know where it was. He said, where, where was Hyderabad? So the next week I was on a plane um, and I walked into the newly, newly built Hyderabad airport um, and um, we actually started actually rectifying a lot of the issues that were actually in the airport itself. Um, that led on to uh, the, the Mumbai International Airport, where we actually built all the facilities for the food and beverage and retail spaces within the Mumbai International Airport in Christchurch, sent a team of six contractors with me across, and we built those facilities um, from the ground up um, and delivered um, a full food court with all New Zealand produced products. From that, the um, GVK at the time and GMR saw that and said, well, how can we deliver that quality? And my client said, you need a designer from New Zealand and a team from New Zealand to build that. So then we started venturing into other parts of, um, of the airport sectors. Um, in 2010, we, um, we worked on the Delhi International Airport where we delivered 19 food and beverage and retail spaces within the airport. Um, and then from then, we, we started to build a local team because we thought, right, we need to actually be based in, in, in India to actually facilitate our work. Um, we found that working in New Zealand, obviously being 17 hours away, we, we couldn't be there on the ground in, in, a, in a quick and, and um, quick and efficient way. So we, we actually started with two, two designers, and now we have, we've built it into 11 staff plus um, some um, T-boys and some, um, some accounting staff. Um, the next couple of slides is a couple of, um, just some imagery of some of our work over the last, last year, um, sorry, eight years, I should say. Um, Samsung, we're actually working uh, right around um, Pan India. Um, we're actually working with them to develop um, some into the low docile um, university sectors for developing um, uh, tech workshops that actually helps um, and trains 
the local um, youngsters on, in, in the areas um, on how to actually maintain and, um, and, and, and fix Samsung products. So we're actually rolling out a whole series of workshops around the different universities, the first one in Goa, um, through NOIDA as well. Um, we're also partnering with high-profile companies such as Fabel, which is part of the ITC group. Um, people that have travelled into India may have stayed with the ITC group. Um, it's a large hotel group, so they have um, a large retail section um, as, part, as a separate to their hotel sector. So um, this is a, um, a, a mobile kiosk that we're designing for the, for the um, ITC, um, ITC chain. Likewise, of Diageo, uh, Johnny Walker. This is a demountable kiosk that can be um, um, clipped up at, a, say, a function like today, and then demounted and then and going on to the next function. So, we've got 130 um, on order of these that we're building. The first prototype is being developed right now. It is um, under production. Um, when we when we do our work, um, our, our key focus is really to achieve the vision of our clients. And, and being an international design, we're wanting to actually bring the local flavour um, into our designs, but also bring that New Zealand type of international design into our spa into our spaces. So that's why our clients come to us. They actually see that the value of of uh, bringing our team in that has the international um, influences um, has a, a unique unique way of, of of doing our design, our managing our design work. Um, um, can be adapted to their spaces. And achieving the balance, of course, when we're actually working in India, we also have to be mindful of, of the culture. So we, we bring the international flavour, but we also bring the, uh, uh, the culture of our, of our spaces, uh, well, the design into the spaces. This here is Santan Village, which is at the Kuala Lumpur Airport. Uh, but you can see that we've we've done a lot of um, research in the market and actually adapt our the local uh, markets and the, the local um, influences into our designs. Um, part of one of our designs as well is is really to create that Instagrammable space. Um, this here is an example of one space that is the most Instagrammed image in the Cebu International Airport in, in the Philippines. So what we are tending to do we're, um, when we're, we're developing a brand for our clients is, is making a, a statement within their space so they can actually then adapt and bring that into, into a social media platform. So this image, for instance, will go out and actually be um, transported and, and, and around the social media platform. Achieving the results, we're partnering with the right people. So today we've actually spoken about partnering with the right partner and actually finding that partner. So it does actually take time to get the the the, the right partner in place for, that actually has the same ethos of your business and, and the way that you actually do business. There's a lot of training involved as well. So it's actually making sure that you spend time with the people that you want to bring on board with you, not just on your from an employment level, but also on a partnering level. So making sure that you have that real, real connection with your partner and also your team so they can deliver what you want to achieve within your spaces. And the teamwork. We have um, 11 staff that we, uh, we train um, to New Zealand, Australian, New Zealand business stand standards, uh, building standards. So they actually are also a support team to actually, for all of our global work around, around the globe. So we may have a project here in New Zealand that needs to be documented. So we send it across to our Indian team and they actually document that for us. So what that does is bring revenue into the Indian office and the Indian business, but through our whole wider network. We do that with Ho Chi Minh as well. Our beautiful renders that you would have seen on the screen today is actually generated full time with our rendering staff in Ho Chi Minh that we, we hand pick and make sure that we can deliver our quality designs. Communication is paramount. This is one of my favourite visuals um, of all time, I think, with my business and delegations that I attend. Um, just the, you can see there that how you capture people's um, attention and how you really, really, really capture the, 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 the momentum of what you talk about. And, and of course, being a female as well in a very predominantly, um, no disrespect, gentlemen, but male-dominated world um, of business where we where we are, um, um, it's it's really important to to be strong and 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 um, have a good front there. So the New Zealand way, um, do what we say and deliver on your word. Um, that's very very important um, when we come to our doing our business. A little bit over time, but I'm I'm just getting there. So partnering with the right people, um, research, take your time in selecting, ensuring that they have the same vision as you. So really take your time in actually getting that right person in place. 
and to be strong. So know what you what you want to say, what you want to deliver. And we were sitting in front of the corporates and the the GMR, the GVKs, uh, CEOs. Um, you know, we're we're pitching for our for our work and our company. We're from New Zealand and we're pitching in front of these these big uh, corporates. Um, we have to know what we we say and be strong when we're delivering it. And the last being the perseverance um, takes time. We've we've all heard today how long it does take to actually um, to build a um, a good network. Um, how how much time it takes to build a team, to manage and to and to train them. Um, eight years it's taken me to get to where we are in India. I've still got a long way to go, and uh, really love what I do. So thank you. Thank you.